and like I don't get turned on by other women. It's just being able to have an outlet to go back to. See, I got a rule, right? That I tell her. I said, listen, I want you to f me like your side, but I want you to talk to me like your gay friend. <laughs> I understand what he means, too. You see what I'm saying? I understand what he means. Really for me, that's I, a good relationship right there. <laughs> I understand what he means. That's a free game. I want you to f me like your side, but talk to me like your gay friend. And one week, like we had that. <laughs> so we crazy. really be out. We really Bro, be out. When girls talk to their gay friends, they really confide in it's somebody that like chasing cheeks. They uh they see them as therapists. Now the side part, I want you to understand, bro. Your woman's side guy gets the best of her in the bedroom. I feel like homie head should be normal. I have friends that I'll just go over to their house because I want to show off a little bit, and then on the way out, I'll dab them up and act like nothing happened, and we'll just talk like we're homies because we are. I feel like homie head should be normal. I have friends that I'll just go over to their house because I want to show off a little bit. And then on the way out, I'll dap them up and act like nothing happened. And we'll just talk like we're homies because we are. Homie head. She's going to her homeboy's house to show off a little bit. That means that she learned a new trick. And she's going to the homie house so she can practice. And then she leaves like nothing happens. Where were these young ladies when I was growing up? Where were these women when I was I was uh, growing up? I will say this. Think about if that's your girl. And she has some male associates that may have caught the homie head. Think about it now. I have sole legal custody. I call all the shots. She said in court. That she said in court that she doesn't want to have visitation with her son at all. Wait for it. Sir, you asked for sole legal custody. That means that child's your responsibility. Yes. She's serious? After watching his video, good for him. Visitation is optional. She don't want to be a free babysitter. Free babysitter. I think what one actually meant was parent. Got what you wanted. At least you don't have to pay child support, though. Who can predict where this is going? Boy math at its finest. Love to see it. Boy math. That really doesn't seem to be the type of math that's being used here, now does it? But it's interesting how one would try to make the father of a child somehow appear to be in the wrong. Oh, no, she's serious. While trying to do the right thing and taking his child to see their mother. How does that add up? I have sold it. Wait. She was dead ass serious. So this man won, which is rare, and got legal custody of his, his child. I'm going to let y'all know something. The way the justice system works right now, if the father gets sold custody of the child, that means the mother is a nutcase. I'm just be honestly, bro. Okay. He got sole custody of his child. He's willing to take the child to go see the mother. And the mother denies visitation. And here comes this bitch on the internet, the one with the paint on her face and her neck, saying that the mother don't want to be a free babysitter. Yo. That shit just got me, <laughs> yeah, that shit just got me hot. I'm sorry. One of the best ways to drain people's energy nowadays is via the internet. This woman is a astrophysicist. Actually, this is not how space works. Read a book. Now, I just wait for the comments to come in. Hey, can you mansplain any louder? Yeah. Yo. Yo. 
Earlier in this video, I was talking about energy vampires. And voila. Look what pops up on my timeline. Energy vampires are so real. And as somebody who creates videos on YouTube, I come across them all the time. We just we I'm let's finish watching this video and I I I told oh my god. Sure. These are all different accounts that I have set up. The energy you get this way isn't quite as pure, but if you do enough of it, it'll fill you up. Shanghai sucked. Where was the Chinatown? Jason Mraz is just too weird for me. Jesus actually hates horses. Childhood obesity, LMFO. <sighs> when they call you a dumbass, you know you've got them. They called me a dumbass. Women are getting too tall. Yeah. You can drain their energy via social media without having to even be near them. That is racist. You're correct. <laughs> it is. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, they hate me. It's surprisingly simple to get total strangers completely furious with you. They should get a life. A few days ago, I received a comment from one of these energy vampires. And you know what? I want to read the comment to y'all. I'm going to post it on here. I'm going to read the comment to you guys, man, because I want y'all to see how people think. It's two comments, actually. But, you know, I really want y'all to see how people think. Bro, the most amazing thing about this video is the fact that you don't know who Ron Weasley is. The other amazing thing is you think it's okay to have this background and backdrop like you try to be a content creator. Do better, homie. You just some really good cat in a room with two lights talking and commenting on things that apparently you don't know and understand. Seriously, I wish I could get my time back. I wish there was a way I could charge you money for making me watch this video. First comment. Second comment. <clears throat> Honestly, the more I watch of this, the more I think, holy shit, I didn't realize I could be a YouTube content creator. Like, if this guy can do it and people are actually watching these videos, then I guess truly anyone can. You don't have to have style. You don't have to have good content. You don't have to be semi To be a semi-celebrity, he can't spell. He There's a lot of run-on sentences. You can literally just be some dude in your, in your parents' basement... Recording and throwing out your opinions and people will actually watch it. Um, sir, this is my house. This is my house, okay? Last comment. When my social media start blowing up, I'm going to give all thanks to you, homie, for inspiring me that, that for inspiring me that ass, bro, I, that shit don't make no sense. If this hot garbage can... F Get follows. I can get follows. Thank you for being so inspirational. I responded, though. And I was like, damn, that came from the soul. But I'm glad I can inspire you in some way, shape, or form. Now, I seen that comment. And then I seen another comment, which I responded to. The comment I responded to said that my content... I'm. He said, I'm copying Ghost videos. So if you don't know who DJ Ghost is, DJ Ghost does reaction videos also. I responded and I was like, hey, bro, you watch my shit and really came back and said I'm copying DJ Ghost because it got me upset. One thing I can say, bro, on YouTube, people like to talk shit and they like to say nonsense. And to me, how can you look at my videos and say I'm copying DJ Ghost? Why? Because I like Apollo, Apollo Santo and this man be smoking in his videos. You see smoke, I'm copying Ghost. So I said what I said, and then he came back and said, oh, um, yeah, it, I must have really gotten under your skin. It, mu it must be true because you cursing. Calm down, homie. It's so whatever, whatever. And somebody else sidelined and did all that nonsense. But I say all that to say, bro, energy vampires are real. Energy vampires are so real. The first guy, here's the funny thing. This man has his real name, first name, and last name on the internet. I searched him up on Facebook. And I wasn't surprised to see who he was. Energy vampires is real, bro. 
people will come out here and they will try their best to knock you off your high horse. They will try their best to, to pivot your day. To pivot your day. And you just got to be careful. You 